Currently it's raining, and due to the rain, I think we want to protect all the sensitive equipment in the cockpit. So we're gonna get that down to protect the equipment during takeoff. Get Icy Tower, uh, Colt 1, uh, ready to taxi. Colt 1, clear taxi, runway 07. Uh, clear to taxi, runway 07, uh, Colt 1. Really paying attention. Okay, so one of the F5s is taking off. That means we should be staying clear of their jet blasts once. Yeah, let's stay clear and just break here. Let them go first. Yeah, I know. I know the f that we have F5s currently on the field. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take this time to 9, 2, 0, 1. And I'm not and doing that with the bulk cargo ship. Is the, because the bulk cargo ship is so close to land that if that was the Russian signal ship, they would just photograph her from the... from basically from... The, from the coast. These are not the ships we are looking for. Uh, Captain, we are turning on to waypoint five. I say again, we have a possible contact dead ahead. Show him the thunder. I mean, electronics are usually sensitive and all that, right? So let's go in close, right on top of them, and give them a sonic boom. See if we might not be able to give a disruption to their precious little operations. Punch EBK at five kilometers. Punch it. Ah, there she is. Containers on deck. Contacting Stingray. Stingray Springfield one two. We have located the Ivanov. Taking photos, location locked. Spring to one, excellent. Head back to base for debrief. Also got visual on at least one. Yeah, that looks like uh, the Georgian Navy ships. And uh, that is the Ivano right there, and we'll see if. Yeah, we got Russian ships right behind it. Let's go supersonic. Let's just do this. And we're gonna do it full speed. And let's just put that one in. And we have armed weapons. The CCIP is, however, not appearing. And that is because I'm awfully bad at going within the engagement envelope of the thing. I can see the Grishka, I can see the... We're not supposed to use a dive bombing attack, but we need to place the bombs at least four kilometers away. Let's see... Three... Two... One... Release! I think we're being locked on. Splash! That will show them Thor is a hammer. 
The Russians appear to withdraw. This is Springfield 1. Mule near. I say again, mule near. Springfield 1, UC3. The Russians are turning around. I think they got the message. Out. They did indeed. We're a little bit too high up. We don't want to be detected by the enemy. Stingray to all units. Russian forces have crossed into Georgian territory. Russian forces are now considered hostile. Weapons free, weapons free. Roger that, weapons free, weapons free. We're also being lit up here. We need to hit the deck. Uh, also looks like we have the Georgian Navy to our 9 o'clock. about flying over the ocean. You can't really take your eyes off the... We're gonna follow these uh, Georgian Moskids missiles in. Let them do most of the damage upon the convoy. And then we are going to launch once I am confident we are within range. Let's stay low and get it done. Flight, engage those ships. Flight, engage ships. We have the ships straight ahead and we got muskets heading straight for them. Ready? Now. This is Shooter, I'm disengaging. Missiles are away. I say again, missiles are away. I don't really have the time to see what results we actually got from our hits, but. We have the RB away and heading towards the target. I don't think we're gonna hit the transports. Coming in. As usual, I haven't really bothered getting a, a landing clearance cyber for that matter. Let's see if we. C <laughs> uh, my radar screen is actually lighting up because I'm too low to fight the RB4 missile. Reverse engines. Is this it? Is this the day we finally make a... No. We damaged our front wheel. We damaged our front wheel, but it, it's not a bad landing as they usually are. Oh, wait. We do not request takeoff, and we want to kill our reverser. Uh, but yeah, we landed at the right airfield, and we are now clear to taxi to... to our area. So we're gonna slow down a bit and we're actually going to Springfield one thing right. Kitaisi is under air attack. Oh crap to Sanaki or Kobileti if possible. Roger that, Roger that, Roger that. I'm boarding, I'm boarding, I'm boarding. Full speed. I'm boarding my takeoff rod. Wheels up, wheels up. Oh, crap! 
The Russians are here! Take attitude and engage fences. I say again, take attitude and engage fences. Crap. All you need to climb, climb, climb. Fight will engage bandits. Lost track of the enemy Sukhois. They must have bugged it out once they saw we were taking off against us. God fucking damn it. It was almost a perfect landing too. So not only can't we spot those fuckers anymore because they mostly most likely went out of range, they also bombed our airfield. Or not as much as hoping as it as it is praying, really. Then again, I'm from Sweden. I don't pray. We are a very secular country. I think this is it. I say again, I think this is it. Break, break, break. Take out those planes. Drop Feldlast, Feldlast, Feldlast. That's what you get for bombing our airstrips. All right, let's take our own. We need to keep staying low. But boy, that was fun. The only problem is that I think we might have actually been a bit too zealous in our Engagement of the targets, meaning that. Uh, Woohoo! Nice job, boys. Let's take it on home. Say again, good effect on targets. You can still see the fires. That means Springfield 3. This is Springfield 1. Uh, currently heading out of the target zone. The rest is all yours, boys. Oh, crap! <laughs> but looks like the waypoints are awfully similar. I mean, seriously, that was a very very close to being a head-on collision right there. Disengage the autopilot and prep for a second shot should we need it. The RB-75 is heading towards the target. Come on, baby. You can do this. Hit the target. Come on, baby. The RB-75 has basically dove to uh, confirm civilian traffic inbound on the bridge. We need to destroy it now or that bus is going to get it. Crap. Uh, no joy, no joy, no joy. We did not hit the target. Crap. Uh, the RB-75 did not hit the target. Well, this is why I broke spare RB-75s. So, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take a very long... Uh, 
road around and we are going to try and hit it from another direction. But basically our RB75 overshot the target. So we are gonna slow down a bit and maybe a, a bit of a tighter turn. Uh, target is now 10 kilometers away. And we are going to lock in our navigation and switching to targeting computer. That joke will about never get old. Uh, our targeting computer is locked on. Uh, the targeting computer has not locked on on an object close to the bridge, however. I think we've actually overshot the target a bit uh, with our locking mechanism. I think we've actually locked onto one of the vehicles close to the bridge, but we'll see. Maybe we get lucky and that missile will. Uh, no, we did not get the bridge. The bridge is actually burning and has, and has to be damaged at this point, but we did not actually hit the bridge. Uh, belay that. Looks like we actually hit the target. We're being locked on, and here's Springfield 2-1 and Springfield 2-2. They're gonna engage the other bridge. We'll follow them in. So we're gonna switch back to A and F, and... We need to do that one. There we go. Switching to targeting computer. Oh yeah, I need the radar in. Oh, we've actually locked on, automatically locked on to a target here. I don't know what I've... I don't know what I just fired at, but... It's probably a bad thing. I mean, it was moving and inside a, a town, so... Let's see if we can see what the missile actually locked on to. This is grow. Oh, it did we lock onto the train? Yep, we've actually destroyed a train. Uh, must have been a Russian train. Ah, crap! We got secondary explosions, fuel, and everything. Oh god, this is not a good day to be a Russian train driver. Let's see if we can't find more tertiary targets over the bay. Negative on that. Unless we can't count the cruise ship, but I'm fairly certain I'm not allowed to shoot at the cruise ship. I think we spotted a military ship close to the... Uh, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna see if we can't get a lock on it and maybe deliver it a, deliver a little gift to it. It's a Moloin, yeah. There we... Oh, wait, that was not it. Uh, what we're doing right now is stupid. And I mean really fucking stupid. We got a missile off. Oh, crap, we got Shirkas in that town. We're aborting our attack run, but we are out of missiles anyway, so... Let's hit the deck and hope that missile of ours will actually hit the target. Uh, Springfield landing, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. In fact, this looks like it could be just another one of my standard issue crash landings. Because this is... What we're doing right now is highly irresponsible. Yep, this is a crash landing. This is a crash landing. We have lost something. Crap, crap, crap. We've crashed. We've crashed. Made it. Approach. Good day, Baron 21. Checking in. Jakeshwada 71, Richthofen. Currently having 0803,000 meters. Request factors for approach. Thank you, Baron 21. Baron 21, between me approach. Good afternoon. Descent to 1,000 meters and come right to 090. Maintain to an offset back vectors for runway 13. Baron 21, copy all. Okay, so we got some reinforcements. Green. Right, right, one, check it out. 
Two tornadoes, here to join the party. Night one, Stingray. Welcome to Georgia. Maintain present course and altitude and expect further vectors to Vassiana Air Base. Okay, so we lost one of our landing wheels. Basically, our external fuel tank saved the plane. We're not burning. And to watch my gracious attack, we right now have allies in the form of a tornado flight flying right above us. And my landing is basically shite. Looks like the Luftwaffe will be laughing their asses off at me right now. They're basically flying a parade saying, Look at that vegan pilot, he couldn't even land a fucking plane. Welcome to Georgia indeed. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> 